to discuss Victor Osimhen at Napoli. Um, Victor Osimhen, uh, you know, there's been talks about his future for a while now. Um, and I think there's some talks speculating even more with some rumors coming out regarding Chelsea uh, mulling uh, a Lukaku Simon swap. Not exactly, not exactly uh, like for like, but obviously with the with the transfer value, it's clear Chelsea are still interested in the Napoli striker. Um, I don't know what made them regain their interest of the past because we know Chelsea have been always interested of Osimhen, but it kind of, you know, died off um, over the past, uh, you know, several months or so. Um, but rumors are starting to heat up again. Um, Luke, uh, Napoli and Chelsea, they are in talks over a swap deal involving Lukaku and Victor Mos You know, sources say that. Napoli, they want to get Lukaku on a permanent deal. Um, and Chelsea are ready to let um, Lukaku go. Uh, Napoli, um, um, Napoli and Antonio Conte, they have a history there. And, uh, and he, you know, Na uh, Lukaku played some of his best career football at Napoli uh, or at, with Antonio Conte. So it's obviously, you know, a match made, uh, a match made perfect there. Um, with Osimhen, um, it's looking like you know Chelsea are not going to be able to afford to pay that transfer fee this season. Um, it has to be a loan with an option to make the move permanent later on. That's what it's most likely likely to look at as Chelsea find themselves in a little bit of a financial hardship. Um, Osimhen has been linked with this move uh, uh, away and he's actually was not even on the squad for a recent friendly um, PSG has also been linked with him uh, so um, yeah I don't know I don't know if this is likely I think Osimhen would be an amazing addition for Chelsea in the fact that they just need some someone to get the ball into the back of the net. They haven't had that sort of player for a long time. We thought Lukaku was going to come in and be that. He wasn't. Um, you know, there was the team over an experience. Obviously, he wasn't efficient enough in front of goal. And he lacked ability in tight spaces. And, you know, since Diego Costa, Chelsea has had not had a number nine, you know. And Osimhen is a guy that he's a great box striker. Chelsea created a lot of chances. Um, they just didn't have that clinical nature. I think Osimhen is clinical. He has the ability to get a goal out of nothing. He has that wild card factor. He has a brilliant touch. Um, he has uh, he has that unique sort of goal scoring ability to where he can get a goal out of nothing. Um, he can create a goal for himself. He could open up a space for his teammates with his runs. He has that sort of, being a number nine, he has that sort of command over a box, command over the six-yard area. He, you know, he provides a threat with crosses coming in just based on his height and his physicality and his ability. Um, he really is, you know, you know, a great number nine, and there's no two ways about it. And going into Chelsea and a team that creates a lot of opportunities, there'll be a lot of opportunities created for him. Well, from what we've seen, there won't be no off-the-field issues that we had with Lukaku, with talking about comments and all that. We hope that, the, um, you know, you, we don't get that from Osimhen. We just get football, and I think he fits the system um, in terms of what we're trying to do. Obviously, we're trying to be possession-oriented sort of play, but look at how Holland has been able to succeed at Manchester City. There, there's going to be we can have an element of that. There's also an Osimhen that you know you get the ball to, up to him, and he's he has technical ability. This isn't someone that'll just lose the ball and that has no ability back to goal. Osimhen is a very very good player and has some you know technical gift. He can play in tight spaces. He can uh, he can uh, play as sort of you know be that hold up man and bring others into play. He has that sort of quality. So I think Osimhen will be a good fit at Chelsea. I do, um, as long as this is a player that Enzo Maresca wants in. You know you know you know and Chelsea do you know 
they've made it clear that Enzo Maresca is going to be a yes man. And, uh, you know, he's not going to have much say on the transfers whatsoever. And... You know, if, 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 if Enzo Mariska doesn't think Osimhen is the right man for his system, um, but he doesn't have a right to actually say his opinion because he has no decision on transfers, that's a deadly, deadly scenario and a potential scenario for a toxic situation. So we hope that Chelsea are at least doing their due diligence in making and talking to Enzo Mariska about the likes of Osimhen coming in um, and being able, you know, Of Osimhen, if he thinks Osimhen can fit, because that's going to be very, very important, very, very important. Um, this is a uh, Osimhen. Last season, he had fifteen goals on three assists over the twenty-five games, and an overall hugely disappointing season for Napoli. Um, you know, the uh, you know he had fifteen goals, which is not brilliant, but uh, it was it was a it was a very disappointing season for Napoli. Um, they weren't able to, uh, they weren't able to get, uh, anywhere near the top four. Um, it was a huge drop off, but in their Champions League winning campaign, he was able, I'm mean, not Champions League winning, in the, their Serie A winning campaign when they were high flying, he was able to get 26 goals in 32 games. He had a brilliant output. Uh, but you know, if you look at the seasons before that, 14 goals, 10 goals, 13 goals, and then the goal in the season in 23-24, where he only had 15 goals, you see a little bit of an out, you know, an outlier, in, which is that 26-goal campaign. But you could argue that the way that that Napoli team was able to create chances for him in 22-23, this Chelsea team can do that year in, year out. So maybe you'll get that 25-26 goal output year in and year out. Because I do think Chelsea as a whole, still despite how bad Chelsea have been, still think overall the quality, they have better players than Napoli. Players with more ability, players to be able to create more than Napoli is able to create. So... Um, you know, and you know, Napoli, they're going to be stingy. You know, we saw the situation with them going on Kravitz Kelia. They're not going to get played. Napoli is known for having that tough sporting director. Um, and they're not, you know, they're not going to get pushed over by Chelsea by any means. Um, uh, they're going to get the value that they deem is necessary for the player of Osimhen's quality. There's, you know, no two ways about it. Um, and whether, you know, that is a loan in a future buy or whatever they deem, but they're not going to put themselves in a position that they don't think they got enough for Osimhen. If they have any hesitation on whether or not um, they're, getting, uh, they're getting a fair deal, Napoli, then they're not going to do the deal. They're not going to get um, played. There's no way they have backbone um, in terms of these sort of situations. You remember how long it took for uh, someone to get Koulibaly out of Napoli and it ended up being too late because he left out of his prime and he was a disaster that one year at Chelsea actually ended up going to Saudi a year later so we know um, we know the situation going on with with Napoli um You know, now when Osimhen was speaking about this, um, uh, actually this was a few while back in January, he was on a uh, podcast. So he said, in times like this, when you are one of the one, when you are one of the hottest strikers on the globe, you expect this kind of speculation. At the end of the season, I've already made up my mind. Um. Yeah, I mean, he said that back then. He's already made up his mind, so. You know, that sounds like someone who wants to go out. And what that club is, you know, me being a Chelsea fan, I'm wishful thinking, I'm thinking it's Chelsea. Especially the main rumors was Chelsea. Chelsea were the main team that needed a number nine. Well, Simon has talked about in the past wanting to move to a Premier League. He was a Chelsea fan growing up. I mean, you know, we know the che history Chelsea has with Nigerian players. Victor Moses, Janobi Mikel, um... They have a very good history with Nigerian pl uh, um, players. So I think Osimhen would want to continue on that sort of legacy. So I do think Chelsea was the club he was talking about. But do Chelsea have the financial means? They find themselves in a little bit of hardship? We'll see. 
I don't know. I don't think Chelsea are able to get it done. I just I don't see why Napoli will just let him go out on loan for a year. I don't really see that happening. Um, it makes no sense for Napoli, in my opinion. You don't loan out a player of that sort of quality. This is not Jao Felix we're talking about. This is Victor Osimhen. 